I was thinking today at the gym that there's no better feeling. I think my sister's listening to me. Let me check. Never mind. She's taking a shower. There's no better feeling than having the person who you cried over, who you begged to come back, come back and want you back. But that's not the best feeling. The best feeling is you not wanting to go back to them anymore. You not caring what they say. You literally not wanting them after you wanted them so bad and now you don't even care about them. See, that's a game that a lot of women play, guys. A lot of women play. And the fact is that she still wants the guy, but she needs to have some type of control and play this game. I want you, but now I don't want you. Oh, you want me now, so now I don't want you. I'm going to make you pay. I'm going to play games. And the whole time, she's just single and adding up bodies because she's playing games. Women have such egos. It, they have to have the last word. They have to be in control. They have to be the one to break your heart. They have to be the one to walk out the door. They have to be the one to end it. You know what I'm saying? That's all it's about. It's all this, this constant jostling. I got to be the one in control. But the whole time, it's just wasting time. And they're passing over guys that are good for them because they're just, they just have this need to be in control. And that's the thing. And see, one thing I want to point out about men. See, men typically always try to make things work. They always try to come back because men don't typically associate everything with having sex. Sex doesn't equal a relationship in our mind or some minor fraction infraction doesn't change how we feel. We have kind of like this forward thinking like, OK, we can fix this. What can we do? But see, women like her, they like to scold men and make fun of men and chastise men and treat men badly because they're trying to make something work. All the while, she actually wants it to work. But see, this is a flex. So she can show it on social media and show her friends and show other women that, hey, we have the control. That's what this whole video is about. There's no better feeling. She sounds like she just walked through the damn gates of Disneyland. That's the best feeling. Not the fact that they came back. The fact that you know you've gone over them and you thought you were never going to get over them and your world was shattered and you were going to die and you were never going to love again. And even if you don't love someone currently, just not wanting them again and not wanting them back and not wanting to be with them when you thought they were your world. That's the best feeling. Healing. And being happy. All right, bye. That's not healing and it's not being happy. It's just straight up playing games. That's all it is. You know you still want this man. Why are you even talking about him? Why is he living rent free in your mind? If he doesn't matter, why do you have to make a video talking about it? You know that you like it. You're just trying to convince yourself and you're trying to conv convince other women to get them to cheer you on that you don't care so much. But you do because you wouldn't make this video. And you want attention. That's why you had to lay back on your bed and show your breast and all of that. Men are not stupid. We can see what's going on. And the thing is, you know, this there's this saying that goes around when a woman's fed up. I think R. Kelly had a song, when a woman's fed up, it's over no matter how you feel or however it goes. But when a man reaches a certain point where he sees that there's no type of progress to be made and he sees that he's constantly being disrespected at every single turn, he's going to be out. And remember, these these things are coming from some of these women like her because she said it herself that she just wanted them back, wanted them back, wanted them back, really love them, wanted them back. It's coming from these very women that tell these men, I love you. I want to be with you. You're the only one. Everything is great. If we could just do this, this would be fine. And then the next day or the next week or the next month, she's saying something like this. So it's like, which what, what do you actually want? Well, a lot of women don't really know what they want, and that's the problem. And it's completely different for a woman to get over a relationship. One of the reasons why it's different is because women have a lot of options. And a lot of times when women talk big, bad, and bold like this, especially to her ex or even you know her current uh, boyfriend or husband or whatever the case may be, or they make videos like this, it's because 
they've gotten into, into some kind of new relationship with some, some type of new guy and they feel emboldened to just basically talk crazy and, you know, put the chest out and act like they're all tough. That's usually when that happens. But when there's no options in the picture, you usually see videos like this of them crying, asking why. So when you see them with these type of I'm all that type of videos, especially when they're talking about an ex relationship and how everything is good and they're in their power and they're living their truth. It's usually because they found another man and they're feeling themselves until that fails. And then they have to make another video like this or that fails. And then she reaches into her phone and calls that guy that really wanted to be back with her. So don't fall for a lot of these games because women will play them on you all the time this is what they do they're really not genuine about anything that ha doesn't have anything to do with them and what they want it's all about them at all time at all times it's really it's really the truth it's sad but it's true women are very 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 self-serving and they do a lot of projecting trying to say men are that way but it's really them that's why they change with the wind that's why they constantly move the goalpost. That's why they'll agree to something and then want to change it in the future and say, well, it's my truth. This is what I want to do now. I was a different person back then. I've grown. I'm working on myself. I'm fixing myself. This is what they do. So she can make as many videos as she's, she wants, trying to pretend like she doesn't care. But we all know that she does. And she's going to be lonely and by herself and all those, all that cleavage and all that skin. I don't know if that's a filter or not. The way she looks now is not going to last for long. She's going to be the women in these videos you see that are older saying, where are the good men at? Why can't I find them? Men don't approach me because she's doing nothing but wasting time. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this video. Make sure to leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're on TikTok, make sure to give me a like over there and show me some love. I'd appreciate that. A follow and all that stuff. You know how it goes. Uh, with that said, I'm out. Make sure you guys have a good day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. May the force be with you.